What's up Deckers, welcome to another Steam Deck News video. In today's video, Steam hits an all-time high record. Steam also breaks another record for its highest gross in month. We have a SteamOS update. SteamOS is coming to the Legion Go 2. It looks like Nvidia is bringing a GeForce Now app to Linux. And finally, we have some awesome bundle deals. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So first in news, Linux hits another all-time high. And this is coming from Gaming on Linux. Now, originally, there was a survey done around December of last year. And with that survey, it showed that Linux was at a 3.19%. But it looks like that survey was amended by Valve, bringing Linux up to 3.58%. And this is such an incredible feature. And as you can see here, SteamOS Holo 64-bit is at 26.32%. So again, this is quite incredible. It's pretty cool to see Linux definitely increasing past the Mac OS and definitely getting some grounds to windows you guys let us know what are your thoughts about this personally i think this is exciting and it's pretty cool to see on this graph too that the steam deck had something to do with this again let us know what your thoughts are about this so next in news steam generates 1.6 billion in gross revenue in december of 2025 and this is coming from notebook check as you can see here this is 22.7 percent higher compared to last year december of 2024 and the game that stood out here is arc raiders which sold 12 million million copies and as you guys know this one runs pretty well on the deck and again it's pretty cool to see Valve and Steam just continue to just exceed expectations when it comes to sales. Next in news we have a SteamOS update that fixes the CPU power drawer for Azure Horizon 4 and 5 so let's break that down. As you can see here fixed regression with game recording where the video feed will stop part way through the clip. Fix the performance overlay sometimes showing zero for CPU power drawer. It also fixed a regression where certain in-game overlay UI elements could cause a frame time drop upon appearing. And as you can see here, fix some issues with Forza Horizon 4 and 5. So again, this is a neat update. Let us know what are your thoughts about it. So as you guys know, earlier last year, Nvidia did give us access to be able to play GeForce Now on our Steam Deck, but it looks like they might be taking it further with a dedicated Linux app. Now, is this it's going to be a flat pack we don't know yet we're currently asking them questions to see if that's going to be the case so honestly speaking i don't know what the difference with this app is going to be compared to what we already have and how we already use gfn for the steam deck but we'll definitely keep you updated when we find out more about this next in news it looks like steam os is going to officially be coming to the legion go 2 and it's going to be priced at 1200 dollars now this is going to be releasing in june and it looks like the specs are still the same with this one but let us know in the comments below you guys willing to pay $1,200 for the Legion Go 2 SteamOS edition I uh, know personally speaking I'm happy with my Steam Deck OLED for half the cost of that next in news we have the humble choice for January of 2026 and with this we do get some pretty cool games so let's break that down as you can see here we get Sonic Frontiers we get Tomb Raider we also get Metal Slug Tactics and more so again I'll just break this down here you guys take a look at it let us know which game stands out to you appreciate you guys we'll catch you in the next one till next time peace out